I'm Sarah Conant, an ELL teacher at Discovery Elementary. And I'm Serena Marine, a general education third grade teacher at Discovery Elementary. In this video, we're going to be discussing various ways that we assess our students, and we are going to start by looking at a formative assessment that we did today. Yes, we do formatives, quick formatives, the most because we can assess them quickly and group the kids for instruction either that day or the next day. So this is one we did today on points, line segments, lines, and rays. And typically we just would take a look without actually grading it and saying this child doesn't get rays mm -hmm. or line segments. So we would start so, a pile. Of students that are going to need some extra support for reteaching. Mm -hmm. This one is good. Yeah. All right. Okay. So for this particular lesson, we just have one who needs reteaching and one that we just need to kind of check in with and make sure he's on the right. So during track. our rotations tomorrow, we can each just pull one student quickly and check in and do some reteaching. Mm -hmm. Some other ways that we assess, um, we're going to look at some summative assessments and some of the modifications that we make for our ELL students. Um, we'll take a look at a math formative, uh, sorry, a math summative that we recently gave um, that was on our data unit. Some of the modifications that we do for ELL students are decreasing the amount of language, um, simplifying language in test questions. We will also limit answer choices. So on the non-modified version, they may have four or five answer choices, where on the ELL version, it's typically three. Um, with this test, there was a lot of language um, that went with looking at graphs. And so we really sat down and went through that together and talked about what we had done in class and how we wanted that to mirror our assessment. The test, the, the way the test was worded was really confusing. And the way we found to word it in class worked. So we ended up switching the wording just a little bit. And overall, our students performed really well on the assessment. So having the time to talk through how we were going to assess them really ended up being a benefit to all in the end. Okay. In looking at a couple different reading assessments, um, one of the things we will do is this was a drawing conclusions assessment. This was a formative that we did. And the non-modified version um, is on grade level. And the ELL version that we needed for a handful of our students, we um, found a reading passage that was on a different reading level, so it simplified the language. But then the questions that we asked um, were very similar, and we didn't need to modify the questions. And that, again, also mirrored um, the language that we would use during um, the lessons we were teaching in class. Then we have a summative uh, assessment. We're actually working on a traditional literature summative right now. And you can see some of the modifications that we do are putting some of the words in bold so they really stand out for our students. Again, limiting the answer choices. And then something we did on this assessment, um, there's a table that needs to be filled in on the back. And we gave our ELL students a word bank. And we don't just, if it's um, you know eight or nine fill in the blanks, we might put 10 answer choices in. So they really have to think through, um, and they know that there's going to be some outliers in there that they're not going to be using. So in about a week's time, we do two to three formatives per subject, generally. Um, and then the summatives come at the end of units, generally every one to two weeks or so. So these are just some of the ways that we modify assessments for our ELL students. What is working this year for our group of students may not transfer next year, depending on different students that we have and their language abilities. We may need to modify in different ways. We've also worked out the quick formatives um, for groups, because that works for us, especially with Sarah's schedule going to different classrooms. Um, you and your, your co-teacher will have to figure out what works best for you as far as assessment. Mm 